something kind of fun. I'm going to take some old crayons and I'm going to melt them down into new crayons and we're gonna make some shapes. So I'm gonna take some old crayons like this and I'm gonna melt them down in my oven and turn them into this. Melting down crayons into new crayons is a great way to reuse materials that would ordinarily end up in the garbage. However, this is not something I really recommend you doing at home at all, and definitely not by yourself. I'm showing you because I think it's pretty neat and I think you'll enjoy the process, but if you think you need to do this at home, you need to check with an adult and get permission to use the oven and all the hot tools involved. You also need to make sure you're using the correct tools or else things can go really wrong and get really messy. As you'll see, it gets a little messy for me too. To melt crayons, I need some tools that can handle lots of heat. So I'm using a metal baking pan and parchment paper. Parchment paper is different from wax paper. They look the same, but wax paper has wax in it, and I don't want that. This metal baking pan can handle high heat. I'll also use a cooling rack for my hot tray, a rubber ice cube tray, and a hot pad for handling hot items. This rubber ice cube tray is not meant for melting crayons in, so I won't be able to use it for ice cubes again. All of these red crayons have had their wrappers removed and it's time for them to go in the oven. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Are you ready? Mm, they're not ready yet. I can still see lots of crayon pieces in there. All right guys, get back in the oven. How about now, you ready yet? Looks like I still have five more minutes to go. My crayons are all melted, hot, and liquid, and it's time to carefully pour them into the ice cube tray mold. Okay, Ms. Aza, stop pouring, stop pouring. Ah, that's a giant mess. I told you it was messy. I spilled hot red liquid crayon all over my table and my floor. No need to worry. It'll cool off, it'll get hard, and you can clean it up later. Just wait till it cools. melted crayon has cooled off and gotten hard. It's hard enough now for me to pop out of the tray. I learned from trying this the first few times that if I let it cool for too long, they get really stuck in the tray. So now I know just how long to let them cool before they're ready to come out. 